Am I wrong for reporting my best friend to the HR because she got our coworker fired for harassment? Original post. I think I 26 just lost my best friend 27 female of 5 years over this. So me and my best friend Amy have known each other since our college days. I loved her like my sister and she's a huge part in my life. After graduation, we got jobs in the same company. I was ecstatic as I really liked the idea of us being together even after college. So here is the incident. One of our co-workers 27 male Steve likes Amy. He asked her out on a date. He was planning on quitting the company after two months as he got a better job opportunity abroad and Amy is currently single and is looking for relationship. The thing is that Amy started hating Steve as he got the job abroad to which she had also applied. So when Steve asked her out, Amy declined it in a friendly way and told him to not bring that up later. It was going all good until one of my other co-worker told me that Steve had been fired from our company and his job abroad is also at stake as somebody reported him for work harassment. I was shocked and confused, he was a good guy, like genuinely he was a good guy that even Amy talked good about him. Later that evening, Amy told me that it was her who reported him to the HR for harassment. I asked her what happened, and apparently he told her that he still likes her. I asked her if he had misbehaved with her, and she freaking laughed at my face when I was concerned about her. She then proceeded to tell me that she just didn't like the guy. She hated that he got the job, so when Steve talked to her, she saw it as a chance to get him to lose his new job, as she was the next in line to get that job. She then told me that she felt sorry for him, as she thought that Steve would only lose his new job, not the one that he has in our company. I got furious and shouted at her that I will inform this to the company and went home. I don't know what to do. If I report her to the HR, then Amy's career will be over. But at the same time, I want to help Steve, and I just can't look at Amy the same way. Amy's family has been texting and calling me the idiot. They are furious at me as I said I'll report it to the HR. I am feeling betrayed by her, I don't know what made her do this. Am I wrong for wanting to report against Amy? Edit. I went to work today and learned that he was not fired, but was suspended until the HR investigation is done, and they are withdrawing the recommendation the company made for his new job until the investigation is done, which will result in him losing the new job. I'm going to talk to Amy and apologize to her so that I can hear the entire story about what she told to the HR. Not wrong. This is foul, vicious, cruel, and hateful behavior. I have a few choice terms for people like this, but all of them will get me banned from this sub, so I will just say that you absolutely need to report this to HR, and if Amy texts you, screenshot that and take it to HR as proof. This is the lowest of the low, and she needs to be punished for this. If she is doing this to Steve, she will do it to you when you get in her way. Not wrong, but be careful. Have evidence. Well, now that OP is enemy number one, she had better hurry up and let HR know, or she will come after her too. Now that she showed her cards, the only defense is a good offense. Not wrong, but you would be if you didn't report this. Your friend, and I use the term very lightly, used a false harassment report to cost this man his job and livelihood just because she was jealous that he got a job opportunity she wanted. Not only could this ruin his career, but his life as well. Distance yourself from this person as soon as possible and report her immediately. And worse, she actively harmed all women in the future who make such a report. The company will now doubt everyone who reports and may refuse to do anything to avoid another situation like this. Not wrong. Report her. Now, imagine if Steve was a friend or family member of yours. False allegations ruin lives. And I agree with other comments, you need to report her at least to cover yourself. She will not hesitate to make up a story that will cost you your job. And I'm guessing she knows enough of your secrets to make sure it's believable. Again, not wrong. And you're better off without this friend. And now for the update. A lot of this happened after this post. I read all the comments and thank you for all of your opinion, and I decided to do what I felt was necessary. I gathered screenshot of the messages Amy and her family had sent me over the past few days, and those screenshots were more than enough proof of Amy's intentions. I messaged Steve and asked him what exactly was the situation between him and Amy. He was hesitant to talk to me because he knew Amy and I were close. After talking to Steve, we both realized how messed up things Amy did, and apparently Amy was freaking bad-mouthing me around the office too. Her best friend. So, Steve told me that Amy was the one who initiated the conversation about his interest towards her the second time. She asked him if he had interest in her, and he agreed. I guess she was scheming it already. I don't know why she would go as far as this. Then she told the HR that Steve harassed her to sleep with him. Amy provided screenshot of the message Steve had sent her when he first asked her out as evidence to the HR. Now into my problem. 
I don't think Amy was really my friend. I was just something she wanted as a support system, nothing more. Amy told me that the job to which she and Steve had applied to was only for our company selected candidates, but no it was not. It was an open position which she knew about from Steve. Freaking Steve. She never told me about all these things, she purposely hid these things from me. I didn't even confront her because I'm crushed now. I'll definitely confront her though. I'll update about that if get the chance. The HR gave Steve his recommendation letter back and assured that his new job will not be affected. Amy is suspended for false accusations and for harassing and threatening me via texts. Steve is still suspended as the HR discovered that he asked his co-worker out. Well, Steve was gonna quit the company this week anyway, and he will be joining his new company next month, so good for him. And guess I just got a new friend. And apparently Amy was freaking bad-mouthing me around the office. Her best friend. I'm shocked. You just can't trust conniving backstabbing jerks anymore. Seriously though, good on OP for standing up to a perceived friend. Here's hoping Amy's suspension turns into a dismissal. Oh, it will. There's no way legal, as it sounds like a company of a size big enough for a legal department or lawyer in HR, would agree to anything else, as she has proven herself to be a walking liability. I've been in enough meetings, where smarter people were terminated for less egregious offenses to have no doubt that they're just tying up loose ends or covering the company's But now. What a nightmare. I'd be furious for the falsely accused employee, but then the paperwork and retraining the accuser will have triggered would have me absolutely homicidal. It's amazing how some people will pretend to be your friend for literally years, when they don't care about you one bit. Honestly, where do they get that kind of energy? They suck it out of the people they are using. Thank God Steve got his life back, sometimes crap gets set in motion, and companies don't care enough to correct the mistake. Hopefully Amy gets fired. I got in trouble for bullying, for telling my female co-workers not to be alone with one of my male co-workers, whom I'd found out from hanging out with him outside of work was. 1. Mentally ill and unstable. 2. Not taking his medication because it made him fat. 3. Talked openly and proudly about wanting to violate and unalive his own mother and one of our female supervisors. Months later when he broke out screaming and threatening to violate and unalive one of the female employees after she shot him down for a date so loudly in the middle of the floor, he was escorted out by security. I went to HR and told them they were welcome and I wanted my record expunged. They refused because it's still bullying. Last story. Update. Am I wrong for insisting my brother's girlfriend proves she's pregnant or she has to move out? Original post. My 20 male, brother 24, has been on and off with his girlfriend 27 for a couple of years now. It's been the same song and dance, they're happy for a few weeks, then something small happens, they argue. It gets really nasty and they make up and back to a loving couple. When I learned my brother got kicked out of his apartment and needed a place to stay, I offered him the extra room in my apartment, and my brother agreed to pay rent, help with bills, and pitch in with food. For three months now, she's been announcing she's pregnant. She alone will eat a snack box with 50 small bags of chips in a week. I tried to reason with her and get her to cut back, not only from overeating, but she was running us low on food. But she insists she and the baby are healthy, and it's just cravings blah blah blah. Since last month, most of what my parents sends to my house my brother's girlfriend is the first to get into it, and a large portion of it is gone by a few days to a week. My mom is a couponer so she bulk shops and give away what she has too much of. From a 24 case of Monster Energy drink, 8 will be gone in a week from just her. She eats a hell of a lot of food too, most of which no pregnant woman should be consuming so much of. And yes I know all pregnancies are different, but words can't explain how much she eats in one sitting. So, today I had seen her drinking coffee, and after her second cup I asked her if she should be drinking so much, and she said her doctor told her it was fine, and she had no worries. When I suggested she take on a healthier diet for the baby, she just scoffed and walked out. I went and asked my brother if he's been to any of her doctor appointments or even seen a positive pregnancy test, and he said he didn't. I confronted her about it, and she said she didn't have to prove anything and started to get defensive. I told her she needed to show a test or some proof of going to the doctor, or she needs to move out as she doesn't help at all. My brother started defending her, and changed his answer from not seeing any proof, to seeing her pregnancy test. My parents got word of what I said, and my mom says I was in no place to say anything, and that every woman's body is different, and I wouldn't know since I've never been pregnant. Am I wrong? Now for the top comments before reading the update. Kinda not wrong. Asking for proof is extreme, but she's also eating you out of house and home. Even if she is actually pregnant, she probably needs to find a place of her own and get herself her own food. 
Do you really want a family of three living with you when the mom and dad have a crap show of a relationship? Spoiler alert, you do not. Yes, I see I was wrong for that. He said he only needed a few months to get back on their feet and he'd get his own place again, so I wasn't worried about them still living with me in the future. Except they haven't moved out, and depending on your lease, they could be considered tenants now, meaning you would have a hell of a hard time kicking them out. If she won't contribute financially, tell her she needs to buy her own groceries or with your brother and they are no longer allowed to eat your groceries at all. Not wrong, and if your mother is so concerned, maybe she should house your brother and his girlfriend. She's the one that forced my brother to get his own apartment by kicking out, because she was sick of their arguing. Not wrong, since she is not contributing and is taking advantage. But I wouldn't make it a condition, I would simply tell them they need to find different accommodations, or she needs to contribute. Side note, energy drinks while pregnant are not safe or healthy. Two cups of coffee isn't bad. Yes, the energy drinks are way worse than the coffee. I'm not even sure if they're approved by the FDA for pregnant women. The FDA has actually only approved energy drinks for anyone to be only consumed once a week, since they are known to increase risk of stroke which I would imagine be much worse for a pregnant woman. I only included the coffee to give an idea of how much caffeine she drinks. The coffee plus the energy drink is a daily thing for her. That's what initially made me skeptical. Edit. I did talk to her a while ago about getting a job, as well as helping out financially, and she said she'd start and never has. Right, so based on majority of the comments I overstepped yes, but I'm going to go with my gut on this one, and give them their 30 days notice and call it a day. I'll for sure update you guys in a month when they're to be gone, and let you all who's interested know what's happened by then. I keep repeating myself, let me add that my brother knows everything I've said. The excessive caffeine, no ultrasound etc. Yes, my brother still buys her tampons monthly, and I know this because he goes with me when I buy mine. No I was not faking concern by the coffee comment. She drinks two cups of coffee a day along with a monster. That's a ton of caffeine. And now for the update. Okay, so I gave my brother and his girlfriend the 30 days notice and they were to leave this Friday. But as of last Friday, I have my place to myself again. Basically, they fed me a bunch of lies since I gave them the 30 days notice. First, it was she can't get an appointment or an ultrasound because of all of the COVID patients. Then, brother's girlfriend shows me a sonogram picture from her phone that I later found on Google Images. I asked why it was on her phone, and she said it was emailed to her after her doctor's appointment that she couldn't get. Then my brother brought home baby clothes last week to sell the lie I guess. But they weren't clothes for a newborn, it was a lot of 9-12 to 12 month old and 2T. When I asked him why none were proper clothes for newborns, he said so he can grow into them, but was told she was pregnant with a girl. I didn't bother to ask any more questions, because I knew it was going to be lies on top of lies. Then Friday, I got home to them arguing and at each other's throats. Eventually I called the cops because they weren't letting up. At this point they both had come clean with the truth. Brother's truth, his girlfriend is the reason he was kicked out of his place. Then she needed a place to stay because her parents kicked her out, so she forced him to let her stay in my house by faking being pregnant. He said after the first month, he knew she wasn't pregnant because she got her period, but she forced him to keep up the lie so I'd let her stay. Girlfriend's truth, brother invited her to stay at my place. And to make sure I wouldn't say no, he told her to fake a pregnancy, and I'd be sympathetic. Won't go into detail, but I'm 100% certain that part she said was true. And that I wouldn't question her using tampons as he'll make up a lie for her. She said he told her to eat up all of the food, because it'll make it all seem legit. So, that's about all, I'm still unsure who's telling the truth, but they both got all of their belongings and went their own way I assume, so it's not my problem anymore. Great update. Glad you followed your feeling, you don't need the drama. It could have backfired. Luckily it didn't. Still sucks he used my past against me, but it is what it is. Can only move forward from here. Know what relationship you have with your brother. He sees no issue with lying to you for whatever profit. Keep that in mind. Take care. Thanks for the update and obviously the trash took itself out now, and you have your home back, and you know neither of them can ever be trusted. Right. Thank goodness OP threw them out before it got to the miscarriage part of their story. Calling it now, the girlfriend will tell everyone that the stress from this situation caused a miscarriage, to excuse why she isn't pregnant, and to get sympathy. If this happens OP, please let us know. One time, a friend's cousin faked a pregnancy. She never posted ultrasound so I was already suspicious, but everyone that was closer to her and saw her every day was skeptical, but were supportive of her. When it came to the day she said she was due, she said she had a miscarriage at home the day before. 
Miscarriage is before 24 weeks, you can't simply miscarry at 9 months. She would have had a stillbirth and had to deliver the baby. When people asked her if that what she meant, she doubled down and said her doctor said miscarry blah 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 and wanted everyone's sympathy in the form of money. Not for a funeral or anything, she said she needed to go on a trip to forget. Everyone was shocked and horrified that she would lie. I think about it and laugh at the absurdity.